Planet Wine and Company. Present! The alcoholic and malolactic fermentation of wines. In alcoholic fermentation, yeasts transform grape sugars into ethyl alcohol, carbon dioxide, and byproducts with heat development. Very important is glycerin, which is an alcohol with a syrupy consistency and a sweetish burning taste. The mass of skins and grape seeds are pushed to the surface at the gas developed, and the temperature tends to rise so as to soften the skins, which gradually begin to yield the anthocyanins. After 70, 90 hours, the must will become colored. Inside the red fermentation tanks, the must and pomace remain in contact in a process called maceration, which can be longer or shorter depending on the wine to be made. A maceration of one week, which is therefore short, will result in young, very fresh and fruity wines that are deep in color and low in tannins. In contrast, long macerations, even beyond three weeks, will allow a passage of the substances contained in the skins and seeds, thus tannins and anthocyanins, and in addition, the skins will also yield the aromatic precursors formed in the grapes by solar energy and a class of protein compounds that will then bind to the tannins, conferring softness. The mass of skins and pomace that rises to the surface during red fermentation forms the so-called cap, which on contact with the air can trigger oxidation and acidification processes, and therefore continuous punching down, breaking of the cap, and pumping over will be necessary to keep the pomace moist, release carbon dioxide, and introduce oxygen. In controlled fermentation, the must is sterilized and then selected yeast is introduced with temperature governance. In fact, the fermentation temperature in red wine making should not exceed 28 degrees Celsius. Once maceration is over, the wine is drawn off, that is, the wine is separated from the mark, which, in turn, will undergo pressing, to extract the wine contained in them which is very rich in color and tannins and lends itself very well to distillation. After appropriate racking, the temperature and chemical composition of the wine determine the need for further fermentation, malolactic fermentation which consists of the transformation of malic acid into lactic acid plus carbon dioxide. Malolactic fermentation begins spontaneously in the spring when the temperature rises and serves to reduce the degree of pungency and make the wine softer. Malolactic fermentation takes place in ISO 9000 containers or in barriques characteristic 225-liter barrels that release woody, spicy, and vanilla substances. The tannin released from the wood is called Gallic or Noble, and this makes red wines more balanced and more muted in color. Here ends the video by Planet Wine and company dedicated to winemaking, and specifically to the alcoholic and malolactic fermentation of wines. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, Planet Wine & Co. Journey will continue with the beautiful and varied world of white and rosé winemaking. Happy learning and having fun with our videos. A special thanks to all of you who came to the channel even out of simple curiosity or coincidence. A strong and warm hug to all of you. Enjoy watching and listening to Planet Wine and Company. Don't miss the next video because a new story will begin.